Boys and girls, today in science, we are beginning a new unit on the secrets of plant and animal life. Have you ever wondered why do woodpeckers peck wood? Let's see what we can find out about animals in this video. Hi, it's Doug. One of my most favorite things to do is to walk through a forest. Have you ever been in a forest? It's a place that's full of trees. It's just tree after tree after tree. Now, the trees themselves are fun. Some people build forts around them or even tree houses. But there's something else that's great about a forest. I wanna show you. Come with me. Let's start walking in the forest. The thing I wanna show you are all the different kinds of animals you might be able to see. Oh, look. There's something in the grass. Do you see it? Let's get a closer look. What is that? Oh, look, here's another one. Now we can see what it is. It's a bird, but not just any bird. This is a special bird, a bird that lives on the ground, not up in the trees like most birds. It's called a quail. What do you see this quail doing? Stop and discuss. What did you see this quail doing? Why do you think it's doing that? Okay, let's move on with the video. In today's activity, you're going to get to know each animal that we see a little bit better. To get to know the quail better, you are going to become a quail, just for a little while. It's easy to do. Follow along with my friend, Pat. That's the person you see here. She'll be the one you see, and she'll show you what to do step by step. Now first, you may be wondering about that word, quail. Its name starts with the same qu sound that starts the word quiet. Let's say the word quail together. Repeat after me. Qu ale. Qu ale. Quail. When you're done with this step, click the arrow on the right. Okay. Did you practice saying the word? Okay. Now, stand up and get ready to be a quail. Make sure you have some space to move around. A quail is a bird, so you don't have hands. You have wings. Flap your wings like Pat's doing. Are you flapping your wings like a bird? Just like the quail. When you're a quail, your feet have claws for scratching in the dirt. Scratch with your feet. <clears throat> scratch, scratch, scratch. Did you practice doing that? Okay. When you're a quail, your mouth is a beak good for pecking. Try pecking. You're not shaped like a quail, so it's tough to peck the ground, but that's okay. You get the idea. Your feet are also good for running. Quail run more than they fly. Try running in place as fast as a quail. Now, put it all together to be a quail. Do what Pat does. You ready? Let's do it. I flap my wings. I scratch the ground. You should peck, be doing it. peck, and I <laughs> run around. Good job. Let's do it again. I flap my flap wings. Your wings. I scratch the ground. Scratch the ground. I peck and peck. Peck and peck. And I run around. And run around. 
Great job being a quail. Go to the next step. All right, now let's sit down and see what other animals we can find in the forest. Watch the next video. So now you know what quail do. You can look for quail and other birds like this next time you go for a walk in the forest. But that's only one animal. Let's keep going on our walk. Let's see what other animals we can find in the forest. Now, one thing I like to do is to stop and look on the ground. When we do that, sometimes we find interesting things like this. Do you recognize these? They're footprints of an animal. That means that an animal probably walked by here pretty recently. But what kind of animal do you think it was? Hmm. Well, let's follow the footprints and find out. Oh, there's more. Oh, and here's another one. Oh. And it's by some kind of pond that's here in the forest. Interesting. Oh, look up. Hey, there's the animals that made the footprints. It's one of the most common animals in North America. They're raccoons. But what are these raccoons doing? Let's observe them. We'll watch them for a little bit and see if you can figure it out. What do you see the raccoons doing? Why do you think they're doing that? Do they look hungry to you? I know that you want to try being a raccoon. Who wouldn't? You get to wade in the water, play in the mud, jump and splash. It seems like being a raccoon would be fun. So it's time to pretend to be a raccoon. Follow along with my friend Pat, step by step. Stand up and get ready to be a raccoon. Make sure you have some space to move around. Imagine you're in a pond. Walk in the water like a raccoon. Walk in the water <clears throat> like a raccoon. Okay. Raccoons have paws like your hands. Use your raccoon paws to dig up and mash the mud. You don't have to worry about getting your clothes muddy since you're a raccoon. Watch what this raccoon does. Oh, wow, it jumps and splashes in the water. Now you're going to jump and splash like a raccoon. Ready? Get ready. Bend your knees, and you're only going to do this once. Jump and splash. Great. Go to the next step. Now, put it all together to be a raccoon. Do what Pat does. You ready? Let's do it. I grab some I mud, grab some and mud. I mash, mash, mash. And I mash, mash, mash. I walk in the water. And I walk in the water. And I jump and splash. And I jump and I splash. Good job. Let's do it again. I grab some mud. Grab some and mud. I mash, mash, mash. And I mash, mash, mash. I walk in the water. I walk in the water. And I jump and splash. And I jump and I splash. Great job being a raccoon. Go to the next step. Let's sit down now and see what other animals we can find in the forest. Watch the next video. Well, that's it for now. Now you can do your activity, your first activity in your science packet where you draw a picture.